This is Jackie Jasper, y'all. HollywoodStreetKing.com. What up, bitches? She showed the baby. Her holding the baby. She showed Jay Z holding the baby. They trying to say they locked down. They said that they locked down the the hospital. But guess what? Jay Z and motherfucker Beyonce ass weren't even there. Swear to God. Hmm. Hmm. They locked the shit. I mean, they got fucking buku cash. I mean, who wouldn't they accept? It down so nobody won't see that girl having that baby. But she didn't have the fucking no, baby. The other girl. Exactly. Baby you did what I'm saying. the baby up. Exactly. Uh, Kiki White ain't no soul sister. What the fuck? Who said she ain't no soul? No, I ain't see that. Night to her husband's throat. Where they getting the throat shit? Corny, can you use spoon and wash and stir that? Where they say that at? What side is that? No. Discuss race with you. What race the shoes. Huh? Oh, what? Huh? Oh, that's what it said. Kiki White ain't no soul. Because her first album was Soul System. Said she ain't no soul system. So let's see what this one said. Yes, she is. Every song that she been sung, I like them. I'm like. I don't know about the rest of the no, motherfucking that's people. Still being assholes, that's all. I mean, but you got you got to understand they gonna be a fucking critic. It's up to you on how you gonna take it in, cause I know what validates me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like if a person say, "Oh, bitch, you gay," oh, I ain't gonna get mad this, about this, it because this, I know this, I ain't gay. This is so whack. It says follow Kiki Wyatt, R&B singer, as her second album. Second, bitch, it's her fourth album. You dumb dick. Oh, it, it already is downloading the other thing now. Oh, I gotta go back and read that. You so funny. It said she wasn't allowed to watch Ruth and her met her white mother called her and her siblings niggers. They said E R S. I ain't talking about no niggers. Who says niggers? Yeah, who says niggers? What is nigger? What is that? Nigger? Who says nigger? Nigga is a big difference. I thought it was a coon. Yeah. Stupid ass. They real but actually, if you would check, you check that chicken corn, please. Divert it back to the ancient. I think it was um. It's a nig Nicaragua's. It's like a no, 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 no. Nigger is actually it is actually was Niger. It's N I G E R. Yeah, which is a province in Africa. I think. Oh, you, you, yeah. Oh, you already I know. I was gonna break history. it down. I yeah. Took black history, right? I know. I ain't take black history. Well, you know I my did, my, my, my little school situations. I just did not True. I just found out that I got Jews in my family and I'm black Irish. Right. That's what's up. What you mean that's what's up? That means that is I'm I'm part of the I'm part of the problem. What I'm saying is you found out your your heritage, that's what's up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You ain't blinded to nothing. I'm a Jew, damn it. Fuck your holiday say no stop. <laughs> but damn, man, I ain't even know they was going hard on you like that, moms. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's my saying. You can't take my saying. You gotta say haters are confused and my eyes. But I cannot will not be held responsible for any brain cells you might lose during the course of reading them. Oh fuck you, you dickhead bitch. They said that about you? No, about Kiki. So why is they dissing Kiki about you though? Huh? Why are they dissing Kiki about you? Uh, because they said that she's confused and she, if she didn't have a white mother, then she would know what she was. Stupid bitches. How the fuck is that? Probably, probably Everybody some, fucking mixed. Probably some ugly motherfucker, I'm sure. People always say I look different in person and ask, what are you mixed with? They always ask her that because they're fucking retarded. Mm -hmm. I told her if I was her, I would say, uh, pit bull, uh, a son, I would say I'm a People summer baby. I'm some of this and some of that. Right. I you told her to say hi, 57, and you figured it out. Then when I tell them, they say I thought you were all black. I get a lot. I get that a lot because my mother's Caucasian, my father's Indian and black. Why does she keep saying? I'm, she says I'm Caucasian because I told her to do that. I said because when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, people only understand what they see. Mm -hmm. People only understand what they see. That way, I told her you don't have to keep explaining what you are. Just yeah. tell them I'm light skinned and I'm black. That's all you need to know. Well, that's what my dad always said. I'm like. Seriously, I'm like. Do you identify as a black woman? She said, "I am a woman. I ain't the, the I ain't like Tiger Woods. The truth is, I'm." She's so stupid. She said, "I'm 25 percent black. I claim to be black Indian, and I and I claim to be white. I'm all of it. If you ask me, what are you? I'm going to say I'm a woman. I stand up for all women. I don't care if you're black, white, Chinese, whatever. I don't know what my mama put on my birth certificate. Laughs. Ha ha ha. Whatever." So did your mom ever discuss race with you? She said, I know when I was a little girl, she would never let me and my brother watch movies that criticize black people or where white people uh, treated black people really disgusting. Like Ruth, she didn't want us to see how white people 
uh, treated black people because she probably thought we might start hating white people, which is true. Uh, she was afraid of, uh, th then they asked her, so she was afraid of how you and your uh, brothers might perceive her? And she said, I used to tell her we're not blind to the fact because we're sitting here listening to people call her a nigger lover or accusing my daddy of being a sellout because he's with a white chick. I told her she didn't have to hide that stuff from us because we did see and hear it, hear mm -hmm. about it. And kids did treat us differently, which is true. Then they said, did she ever talk to you about the N-word? My mom was raised around African-American people all her life. She can cornrow and everything. All she knows is the African-American way of living because her stepfather was black and she was raised by his family, which is true. She will use the N-word like it's going out of style. I say, Mom, you can't go around using the N-word. She's like, I don't give a damn. I say what the fuck I want to say. Ain't no color. It's an ignorant person. That's true. It's not a color. It's an ignorant person. That so is then true. they said, but that word is still synonymous with black folks. So you couldn't watch Roots, but she used the N-word around you and your siblings. She said, no, she didn't say nigger. She said nigger. <laughs> That a girl. And says it in front of everybody every day of her life. She has always said it since I was a little girl. Hell, I thought my name was nigga for a long time. She was ne she never thought about it being a bad word, which is true. They said, wow, so she didn't want you to watch Roots, but she referred to you and your brother with the N-word. Do you think it's time for her to stop using it? And Kiki said, people should feel free to say what they want to say as long as they don't use it to hurt other people. I don't think nigga is a bad word. I don't think it... It's directed towards people of color. Now, the word nigger, if you call me that, I will kick you up your ass because now you're trying to be nasty and disrespectful and hurt my feelings. It depends on um, the context. how you're using mm -hmm. it right. Uh, then they said, but do you really think it's enough of a distinction between the two to make exceptions? She said, yes, because back in the day, they were saying it uh, with the E-R on, on the mm -hmm. end. I think it's just like saying negro because the word in the dictionary, it means ignorant person. Negro doesn't mean ignorant person. You meant negro. The right. Jackie Jasper, y'all. HollywoodStreetKing.com. What up, bitches? Anyway, they said yes, and many people still believe that ignorant people equals black people. Girl, what are you trying to lead my child into? You know what? This was an ugly, nappy headed fucking African chick, too. She ain't even American. She ain't? No. Oh, that's why, but see, if I was her, I would have looked at all the questions, what they were going to give me before I even consulted to the interview because that's right. what Trey Songs, motherfucking right. well, look, this Big Sean told to me. She said, when the, when the lady, I'm sorry not to cut you off, but this is important. She said, yes, and many and many people still believe that ignorant people equals black people. Kiki said, at the end of the day, you're the one who is ignorant. That's, you're the ones that's ignorant. Yeah. I don't think people should use the word so much. I hate how everyone thinks that black people are beneath them, even Asians, whites, and Mexicans. No, I'm not all black, but I definitely stand up for, for black people. They've had it rough. They can help they can't help the fact that their skin is dark or that their nose is, is a little wider or that the curls in their hair might be tighter than yours. I don't think that it's fair for people who look like me with light skin, pointy noses, and pretty hair to think that dark complexion people are any less than them. Who am I? I'm not better than you. I breathe the same air, bleed the same blood. Nobody is better than anybody else. We are all in a struggle called life. I think brown skin is beautiful because people like me have to lay out in the sun to try and look like you. My best friends are um, brown skin, and I think that's so beautiful. I think that's why I decided to make my children black. Because, you know, if she married a white dude, her babies would have been really white looking. You're so funny. she's so light. I, I know. Said, she said, I could have married a white dude and got a white man and my kids. She said the same thing. Well, my know. kids, I mean, I had sex with a black dude and my kids came out white, white. yellow. Like. That's what, she said, that's not what I wanted. Now, they can go outside and get a... For real, tan last. I think black is beautiful. I stand for African American people until the day I die. Whatever. But anyway, it's this. They picked apart everything she said because as soon as she told them that I say nigga, they went in. And baby. on it. Yeah. They just went in. Yeah. But you know what I told them? You should have told them, you know what? You ain't never did no interview with asses? Should have said, I'm not the one that you need to be interviewing. You need to interview my, my mother. Mama. Yeah, I just told you what I told her. I told her, bitch, you don't even know anything about me. You don't know shit about me. Stick to the questions at hand. And I told her, if you fuck up my interview like you did my daughter's, bitch, I'm going to sue you. Then I'm going to be white because I'm going to sue your black ass. <laughs> I'm gonna be white. So I'm saying, what what did they? What happens when? I mean, did, she, did they ever they air you? They never printed it. They ain't printed. You know, the fucking cocksuckers. Print right? Cause she didn't like what the fuck I said. She didn't like what I said. It didn't matter. But all I know is, 
I'm not I'm not really any different than anybody in my social circles. We all think alike, act alike, talk alike. We I mean birds of a feather flock together. So you damn right. right. So it's as simple as this. I never was around any white people, so the probability of me marrying a white man and getting some kids that look even more white than me was zero. Was zero. Yeah. I never spent any time around Andy. How would I even know to marry somebody white? I don't see color when I see people. <laughs> me neither. I mean, like I, I don't said, see color. I just when... see people. Matter of fact, sometimes I forget. I wonder why are these people looking at me and I'm the only speck in the room. I really do forget what I look like sometimes. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. Because I'm going to be me at the end of the day, baby. I love being me. It's fun. So I know that's right. That's what I be telling motherfuckers. Why would I else? pose as Nicki Minaj or a motherfucking Rihanna when a bitch I can be me? Right. Bitch, it's cushy, baby. Right. It looks way better because they got, they got makeup and hair people to do them every day. And you ain't got on a stitch of makeup and hair is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Aw, thank These you. These Nicki Minaj, baby, when I tell you everything <laughs> on her is fake. No I mean, job, everything good. Yeah. Ain't nothing on her real. True. I love her. True. But ain't nothing on her real. True. All True. that shit is fake. That's oh, pumped yeah. in. All of it. Hey, he said he, she still get it. She'll still get it, bro. Of course yeah. she'll still get it. She's beautiful. I but guess what? She, she don't want no dick. She want that pussy, then. Right. Ah. <laughs> that can be. For real. I mean, it ain't. It's. it's plain to see you you know you could quite tell that in all the interviews if you pay quote close attention to the right. ones that actually do but you know to me i'm just like well i'm not going that route that's why i do my research before i put myself all the way out Look, there so he scared shit out of that baby <laughs> that was just that so was cute funny. too cute it's just like it just saddens me on how these motherfuckers be like playing with people lives like this shit man for real <laughs> I hope they win with the dog because <laughs> No, I just be telling their ass though, man. This shit is just so funny. But reality TV ain't even reality TV. All it that really shit. Ain't because they still don't let you be yourself. They're still within limits. But like yep. I said, I just read that. Yeah. That is like so I true. said, if they ever did a reality show on our family, America is not ready for us. They ain't ready for us. Why not? not? Let's prepare they ass, man. Fuck this yeah, shit. They ain't ready for us. Fuck that Ooh, shit. What you say? You don't hear me. He said that's two fuck that shits. Majority rules. Fuck that shit. Fuck well, that they shit. Asked her to do it a long time ago, and I told her if you do, I'm a, I'm gonna go in there and, and I'm gonna act like as, as white as I can act anyway. But I'm gonna tell her I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna embarrass you and ruin your show. I'm not gonna do it because they already think I'm ignorant because of the shit you said. You know what I'm saying? Let them think. I mean, they gonna think what the fuck they wanna think anyway. Let's give them some. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's give them some like real a, shit. Oh, damn, on his damn. neck. But he's lucky. Oh my he god. He broke his damn neck. Oh. <laughs> Dumbass, what mm, the mm, hell? Mm. And right. I always wanted to go surfing. Skateboarding, that's my <laughs> shit. I love skateboarding. Swear to God. I'm like the I'm only fucking right I'm the only there. fucking black girl, well brown skinned chick on the beach that goes fucking skateboarding. Well, I skateboard. You do oh too? My God, even I love that shit. I even got me a Turk uh a Turk fit. Snowboard, snowboard. For real. I'm like, man. Well, but anyway, my homegirl another, Kelly always come and get me. There was me. another interview they did where she quoted me as saying, "My mother says, um, fuck that,' or I don't give a fuck,' because that's my favorite word." And they said that they they called they called me uh, nicknamed me the f bomb. F bomb. I say fuck, fuck, because I say fuck all the time. I tell somebody fuck you or fuck off in a heartbeat. I don't give a damn. And you know what's my saying? Funny how long I've been saying that. Mother made it. <laughs> Mother had it. Like mother what? Motherfucker. Oh, nine years too. You saying that? Every year she was saying that. Like, motherfucker, honey. I that's my saying though. I was just like, well, damn, man. These niggas like, seriously though. If you don't go in this shit with a level headed man, cause I'm like, I'm gonna exploit every bitch. Don't come talk to you, uh, my baby, wanna see? Open up. I give you my money. Hey, I might got blue eyes, but ain't shit devil about me. Tell them that, boo boo. Say I might got blue eyes, but ain't shit devil about me. Mine are gray, but I agree with you. Oh, yours gray? Well, ain't shit devil about you either. Shit. Yeah, they got like your Fuck yellow these. green dashes around. Mine are weird. No, because these motherfuckers always talk shit. They used to talk shit about my grandma when she used to pick me up from school and shit. And like you know, when you was a kid, you don't know nothing about racism. Like my kids, they know about different cultures. And like my kid, you say, "Oh, the girl with the slanted eyes." Okay, 
what's her name, sweetie? Don't say right. the girl with the slanted right. eyes. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like growing up in this society. Society it conform you as a, as I would the say, one, the ones with the condition dog. you to believe it otherwise. Be you know what I mean? So I'm it sorry, is what it I'm is. Oh no, Damn, you good? You good? Damn it, she won. No, the one that they the ones that had the dog go, ah, ah, yeah, making all these crazy they won. ass damn noises. Oh, okay. Yeah, they won. They won. That's good. <laughs> that dog wouldn't even howl, and it was making this weird, horrible noise like a person yelling. I'm a balls in tab. Do that make me a junkie? But I'm gonna try to get on Maybach music. The only Woo! bitch <laughs> on Maybach. <laughs> I'm gonna speak that into existence. I'm a boss. I am the female. <laughs> I am the female Wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop, y'all. I'm just clowning. No, but for real though, hey, I give you mad props. I don't give a fuck what they say though. Because I'm saying, when I go on the Bad Girls Club, hold the motherfucker with my phone at. I'm gonna call a real gutter bitch for you. <laughs> Hold up, what's her name? Hey, Kiki, where your mama at, girl? Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop clowning on y'all. I'm gonna go back in my cave, man. Yeah, I live in the cave. I'm not really from this planet. I come down in. I'm from Mars, so there ain't no different. Ah, oh, man. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Oh, no, no. Nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> Hey, but I told her I gotta beam me up. Ten thirteen, I'll be motherfucking dead. I, I had that fucking number just written on my and fucking hand, and I should smack that bitch like those your ass. I told that bitch to play ten, ten fifteen, and ten thirteen came out. So sad. The Jackie Jaspi, y'all, HollywoodStreetKing.com. What up, bitches?